What up, YouTube? For the old man. Line. Yep, yep, yep. That's right. You know who it is. You know what we do. Old Man Games, the Old Man Games channel coming back at you with another episode. College Hoops 2K8. Season number six, episode number 15. Texas Southern Tigers, nine and four. Head coach Corey Felton. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, I mean. All right, y'all, let's get it in. Um, coming off of a victory against Arkansas Pine Bluff that I thought was a bit closer than it should have been, but we were able to pull it off. So that's all that matters. You can see here our average attendance this year is at 5,020, 62% of the capacity. So we're improving, we're improving all around. Here's our conference standing. So far we're at the top with Mississippi Valley State after three games. So yeah, let's take a look at the schedule. Sam our way to the next week so we can run through some recruiting. And you already know what I'm gonna do. I'm plugging that recruiting tutorial we got for you. Three hour banger, make sure you go check that out. If you haven't already, if you're tired of me for plugging it, hey, I don't know what to tell you. So let's see what's up for recruiting this week. This is our target list. These are our top four targets who we have extended offers to. And at this point, I want to say they have all visited the campus. Is that right? Campus tour, yes. Campus tour, yes. Campus tour, yes. Campus tour, yes. Okay. Um, also, let me see here. Whoa, look at rice. You gotta keep an eye on rice. Damn, every single one of the players we're going after has multiple offers except for the 6'9 Marcus Holcomb. So this is gonna be this is gonna be kind of tight, y'all. So let me see. I'm gonna I gotta make sure we put enough time into our you know our backup options basically. I might bump this dude up, even though he's looking like a heavy TCU lean. The thing about it is they haven't offered him, so. And he wants to be close to home. Uh, Irving, uh, I don't know if that's close to us or not. TCU may be closer, but let's see. Let me move him up. I done forgot how to, what is going on y'all? All right, I'm gonna move him up to this five spot. For, no, actually not five, I'm tripping. I'm gonna move him to the sixth spot, that's Fuller. And I think I'm gonna give him a, well, let me see actually. Steven Willie, actually Steven Willie might be even better, hold on. Except for he wants to play for a big time program. Ooh, and he got an offer from Houston, so you might want to leave him alone. Ooh, here's a six eight small forward. He might be big enough to get moved over to power forward. How's his rebounding? Yeah, his rebounding is deep. this dude right here, because. I don't think he's done growing. He might actually grow a little bit more. So this dude could actually be a power forward right here. So I might move him up maybe a couple slots. That's Dusan Beckman. See what else is on our list here. Herschel Whitaker. Uh, 
Oh, he looks pretty decent. A two guard out of New Orleans. He's looking at Southern Miss. I think that's, what is USA? Oh, South Alabama, I believe. Okay, and he has us pretty low on the list. We went to one of his ABL games. I might move him. Uh, let me see who else though. Oh, we went to four of his ABL games. Hold on, Gerald McNerlin only averaged 7.8 points though. Look at the rebounds though. He can kind of shoot. Looks like he has a decent layup package. Let's see. Not so much in the skill department or in the awareness department. It's kind of low. He can rebound though, like we saw. I think he's a pretty decent defender though. Look at this. Good speed, quickness okay, not much of a vertical, decent strength, okay hustling, no stamina at all. And you know, that's not gonna really work for our program. I don't know, man. I don't know about this guy. Got the athleticism though. You know, that's a very big thing for our system. You know what? I might move him up actually to like the number nine spot. just in case we need them. Then here's a two star, two guard, Chavoy Padilla. They say we need more contact for him. We went to one of his ABL games. We'll leave him for later. Think I might spend my points on this dude right here. And Oh, we haven't even looked at his game tape. Holy cow. So we'll do that. Let me make sure we don't have no more of those. Here's another one. That two star, look at his game tape. Now let me go back to Norlin and give him, hmm. You know what, I'm gonna give him the home visit. I think that'll really just help with his interest and then we can scout him after. Now I'll make sure I call and email the top guys. See that help that he went up one. He did two. Now I'm just gonna go through and uh, try to exhaust as much, if not all of my recruiting points via emails. After I'm done emailing everyone on my target list here, which includes two juniors, by the way, out of the 15 targets. Now I'm gonna go over to look at real quick. There's a contact list. Yeah, contact it list to see what's beyond so make sure I'm, I'm gonna make sure I get these guys here on the contact list that are outside of the target list. That's like my next level of priority, if you will. Think about it like that. All right, now I wanna, now my mindset is, okay, how can I add more people to this contact list? So I'm gonna go to the scout it list right here, scout it, right? And I'm gonna look at the seniors and from here, I might look at this. I think I'm gonna look at this by interest level. And then from there, see if we can spot some three stars or rank two stars to contact. Like for instance, this guy right here looks pretty good. Oh, he got an offer though from NAU, Percy Walton. He can shoot. We went to three of his ABL games. I'm definitely gonna give him an email. Try to get him on our contact list. 
Uh, here's the undersized power forward. Ellis Morandeus, I guess is his name. See, now check this out. This is a power forward who can actually shoot. You see this? He's an undersized power forward who can shoot the three ball. So I would actually, hold on, let me think this through. Got okay skill set for somebody listed as a power forward. You know what? I would actually consider this guy, I would consider, now he doesn't have the best speed, but he has really good quickness. He has a vertical. I would consider this dude as a small forward, y'all. I would consider him as a wing. He's like a tweener, but I would, I would really consider him as a wing. So I'm gonna make sure I get the email out to him. We can keep an eye on him. And really my mindset here at this stage in the process is making sure we got backup guys, guys that we can go to in case we don't land the guys that we're after. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure you, you have your bases covered. We're not the only teams that are interested in the, the guys that we offered. So we got to make sure we got backup plans in place, basically. Right, here's a two guard from California. He already got an offer. It looks like from CSUN. We went to two of his ABL games. Wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm, my bad, I'm trying to add him to the list. He can't shoot though. Look at his medium shot and his three pointer. So I would totally not add him. And he can't, he doesn't have the skill set to, to move over to point guard. So I think this dude is overrated actually. I mean, if you look at his, what I'm looking at right now, it looks like he's overrated. Okay, here's a power forward from California. Oh, this kid right here, he can shoot. Can't really rebound that much, but we can work with him on that. And he got San Jose on him. I'll still give him an email, but that'll be a long shot. Here's an undersized two guard. Wait, Texas, oh, Texas State. Let's see what else. All right, he's already contacted. Here's a two star ranked two guard. Doesn't have any offers. We went to one of his ABL games. Let's see. I don't think, mm, I don't know. He looks like an okay shooter. Somebody like this, depending on where he is with his rebounding, I would consider him at the three, at the three. But I'll still shoot him an email. Then you got another seven footer. I'll definitely shoot him an email. If we can get two seven footers on our roster, we will be dangerous, okay? Here's a a big time small forward. I say big time. Now he's a two star, he's ranked. I, I didn't mean big time. I meant a bigger size, right? He's six, seven at the small forward spot. And again, you gotta remember these these players continue to grow after, ooh, we went to four of his ABL games. After you bring him onto your squad, he can't really shoot. Can you rebound? He can dunk. He doesn't have the quickness or the speed. See, I don't think, okay. Even though he's a two star and he's ranked, I don't think he would really fit well into our team. Just because his defense is, looks up, uh, he doesn't look athletic enough actually. That's what it is. But yeah, his athleticism is a B. That's like borderline for our squad. Uh, I can still send him an email, but I don't know that we would want to bring him on. Hilton Greer from Houston. Ah, oh, damn, he got an offer. Looks like from New Orleans, but I'll still send him an email. Mr. Basketball from Mississippi. You know, he got an offer from Southern Miss. I'll still send him an email.
610 center from Houston. He has an offer from New Orleans. I'll send him an email. Another 610 center from Midwest Oklahoma has an offer from KU. I'll send him an email just in case that offer falls through, which happens. We don't need a point guard. Here's a decent size, small forward. He has an offer from Hofstra. We didn't go to any of his ABL games. So we have no intel on him. I might have to pass on that. Here's a ranked two star wing. We went to one of his ABL games. I'll at least give him an email. All right, who else we got? Nope, we don't need point guard. Okay, here's a small forward from Arizona. He has an offer. What is UVSC? I don't know. I'll still send him an email. All right. It's an undersized small forward. If he, ooh, he can shoot. Now he can't really shoot the three, but he can shoot that mid range shot. Decent at rebounding. He got the speed, doesn't have the quickness. Got a bit of stamina. I would, mm, but he's kind of heavy. He's hefty at 246. I was about to say I would consider him at the small forward. Let me still send him an email just as, you know, a uh, insurance policy. Here's a ranked point guard. Undersized two guard, but he can shoot though. All them C pluses and free throws. He can shoot free throws. His layup package is subpar. He got decent. Now I like this about him, his skills, his handling and passing. Cause that C minus, I mean, I'm sorry, that C plus, we can train that up to a B minus in a year or two. So he could be like a combo guard right here. That's what actually what he is, a combo guard. Um, say we need more. Ooh, he got USC and UCLA on him. We didn't go to any of his ABL games, so that'll be a long shot. I'll just skip that. And he's a four star. Yeah, I'll skip that. Undersized, ranked, two star, two guard. Looks like he's heavily leaning towards Pacific. We didn't see any of his ABL. I don't even think he was in the ABL. Here's a point guard who can shoot. He doesn't have the best skills. He, um, I was about to say he can probably get moved over to two guard. He doesn't have the quickness. I don't think he, I don't think he can play point guard to be honest. He doesn't necessarily have the skill or the quickness. See that F right there. Hmm. Oh yeah, I just realized I'm tripping. I was calling this awareness earlier. I don't know what this is now. Cause here's awareness is right here. Offense and defense awareness. Uh, yeah, it ain't nothing but an email. I'll send them an email and keep it pushing. Can you shoot? Not really. See if it's a point guard. Even though we don't really need a point guard right now, I'm just looking to see if he can shoot because, you know, he could possibly get converted to two guard if he can, but. And all I'm doing right now, you guys, is I'm just looking for players to add to our contact list so we can keep sending them emails throughout the recruiting sessions throughout the season so that when we get to the postseason, if we lose those top targets, we'll have a healthy set of backups to turn to who we've been trying to cultivate relationships with throughout the season. That's basically what, what we're doing right now. He can shoot though. Let me see, how many ABL? We didn't go to none of his ABL games. We went to three of his, I'll send him an email. Let me start doing like this. We went to one of his and he's a seven footer. I'll send him an email. Now at this point, I'm just gonna scan through to see who I who I 
the players who I saw their ABL games, they don't have any offers. Like this guy, well, he's a point guard. Or like, say this guy, for instance, right? We went to one of his ABL games. He doesn't have any offers. Damn, he got skills for a point guard. Look at that. Handling and pass is decent. I like his speed quickness combination for his size. Got a decent vertical. He can shoot too. Holy cow. Okay, you know what? We're definitely sending him an email. Let's see who else? Oh, he's committed. Okay. I think we're at the committed players now. So we don't we won't exhaust look i'm already at the 20 minute mark in this episode so i spent a lot of time here but it'll totally help us out for our recruiting efforts um real quick let me just run through our playbook it's the same one that we've been using so far this season but for those of you who haven't been watching where you been let me just cover this for you real quick all right, we got the center low post speed. That's out of the Princeton. We got the center quick post. That's out of the triangle five. We got the big screen roll out of the triangle eight. We got the point guard center high screen roll out of the flex three. The small fort backdoor cut out of the flex one. The quick lob out of the three out two in. We got the three point reversal out of the triangle six. And then the shooting guard top arc out of the flex four. And while we're here, let me go ahead and plug that other tutorial for you, our latest one, which is the tutorial on custom playbooks and plays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you check that out. All right, and then the last area we'll look at before we hop into the game so I can plug that tutorial as well will be our training. Let me see if I need to make any adjustments. You know what, one thing I might change though, is put a bit more strength training on Thurman. Oh yeah, like I said, there was another tutorial I want to plug. That's the development tutorial, all right? So we got three tutorials for this game. Starts with the three hour recruiting tutorial. We got a one hour development tutorial. And then we have approximately a one hour tutorial on custom playbooks and plays y'all need to check those out all right let me see what other changes can we make here oh you know what i think i think durability is what helps them with their stamina so out of these three strength training sessions i might make another one of those on durability maybe same here too because when i'm looking at it his stamina isn't the greatest but we'll work on it we'll get there he's a senior graves i'm not gonna spend too much time on him mco look at Wait, hold on. Let me look at my freshman, actually. I want to spend more time on his shooting because if he's going to be a shooting guard for us, he's going to have to be able to shoot. He should not be doing two strength trainings in a row. I'll move that to durability. See where his stamina is. Oh, he has pretty decent stamina. So actually what I might do is put that on mobility. Why does he have all this strength training?
Okay, Urbina. All right, now we're on the walk on. So that'll be what we focus on. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's get into it now. Game time, y'all. We got Alcorn State. Hold up, before we do that, look at the tell of the tape. One thing I do not understand, man, is how we're way better. Now, okay, team-wise, we're better than them. It's going to be a tight game, though, I can tell you now, because the last game we played, that team was a 71. Look at their, look at the coaching disparity. Their coach is rated 83, ours is 71, but look at their records. Felton has a winning record. He has damn near double the amount of wins as Fry. Fry hasn't been coaching that much longer than him, but he he's rated as a much better coach. I don't get it. Whatever. I ain't trying to get it. I don't care. Let's let's just go through our team, damn it. Let's get it in. His first personal foul. First team foul. 
shooting two. Substitution on the court. Substitution on the court. Substitution on the court.
Substitution in the court. Constitution on the court.
shooting two. Substitution on the court. Substitution on the court. Substitution on the court. Defensive foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting two. Turned out to be a good foul.
Moon. Defensive foul. That's his first personal foul. Fourteen foul. Shooting two. Substitution in the court. Half a play, that's what I want to see. Let's keep it going. Senior Graves making it happen off the bench as our sixth man doing his thing. And letting them know you don't have to be a starter to make an impact on this team.
substitution on the court. Substitution on the court. Defensive foul. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Substitution on the court.
Let's go. Substitution on the court. Starting to get kind of sloppy out there, man. I don't like that.
gets his first personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting two. Substitution on the court. Substitution on the court. Jasper Frenzy. Jasper, friends. Substitution on the court. Substitution on the court.
Substitution on the court. Defensive foul. That's his first personal foul. Fifth team foul. Shooting two. Jasper Frenzy. remaining two minutes Jasco frenzy defensive foul that's his second penalty situation shooting two Substitution on the court.
shooting two. Jasko Frenzy. Yep, that's right. You know what's up. Graves, the sixth man off the bench with 17 on him. The senior. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, don't show me no. Ah uh, yeah, uh, yeah. That's right, baby. Another one in the bag. As we should have. Tell her the tape. Field goal percentage, we smashed them. Three point percentage, not that good, but we got the advantage. Free throws, got the advantage. Assists, got the advantage. We, they had less turnovers than us. Oops. We out rebounded them. They had more steals than us. Okay. We out blocked them, though. We had more points in the paint way more bench points our bench slaughtered them and then second chance points we were even okay and they beat us on uh fast break points but yeah man i mean we were definitely the better team as you can see overall 83 to their 73 so i'm talking about overall rating not the overall points in the game 77 to 59 is the score the final score let's take a look at the box score None of our starters hit double digits, but it's because it's a blowout. So most of our bench players played through the freshman Brewer with 10 points, which is good. That'll hopefully keep him satisfied. He did complain earlier in the season about playing time. But like I said, we were able to get all of our backups in and get them really good playing time and experience in this one. Not so much. For, I mean, our starters took a back seat. I explained that how this works in one of those tutorials too about how you know in a blowout your starters are not going to play as much well, i'm talking about computer versus computer but um but yeah on their side their starters did a better job because they had to play the majority of the game so that'll do it you know who it is the old man Blind. that's right hit the like hit that subscribe Drop a comment down below. Let me know. Let me know. And yeah, man. We'll see y'all in the next one. All right. Peace.